tonight we're going to be using the math strategy called partial sums. Um, when you have partial sums, essentially you are just looking at the parts of a math equation. You're breaking it into tens and ones, and you're looking at both parts. If you had the equation 57 plus 28, and you were going to use partial sums, first you would add the tens. 5 tens plus 2 tens is 7 tens, but remember it's not just 7, it's 7 with a 0 because there is 70. Um, 7 plus 8, 7 plus 8 has a sum of 15. If I add both of these numbers, 70 and 15, together, it'll tell me what the sum is um, of the whole equation. These are called the partial sums. These are the little teeny parts that will help me to answer this question. So zero plus five is five, and seven tens plus one ten is eight in my tens. So 57 plus 28 has a sum of 85. My next equation, 34 plus 25. Again, I'm going to use partial sums. I'm going to add the tens and I'm going to add the ones. Five tens plus two tens, I'm sorry, three tens plus two tens is five tens, but remember it's five with a zero because it is in the tens place, so 50. Um, four plus five is nine, and when I'm writing it over here in my partial sums spot, I'm going to make sure I put that nine over in the ones place because that is the nines. I'm sorry, that is the ones. 0 plus 9 is 9, and 5 tens plus no tens is 5. Again, I'm just bringing that 5 down because there is nothing there. Um, the sum of 34 plus 25 is 59. And then again, that's partial sums. Here's another one. 68 plus 18. Again, for partial sums, you add the tens. 6 tens plus 1 ten is 7 tens, but remember it's 7 with a 0 because they are tens, so 7 tens. 8 plus 8 has a sum of 16. Again, after I add my tens, I'm adding my ones place. 70 plus 16, those are our partial sums. 0 plus 6 is 6, and 7 tens plus 1 ten is 8 in my tens place. 68 plus 18 has a sum of 86. So what would you do if there was nothing in that um, tens place for the second add end? If there was nothing there, you could write in a zero. Um, if that helps you, that's fine. For me, I just look at it and I say three plus nothing is three. Remember it's three tens, so that's 30. Seven plus eight has a sum of 15. And then I'm gonna add these two partial sums together, zero plus five, has a sum of five, and three tens plus one ten has a sum of four tens. So the sum of 37 plus eight is 45 using partial sums. Let's do 52 plus 38. Again, with partial sums, I am adding my tens place first. Five plus three tens, is eight in my tens. Remember, it's eight with a zero. Um, for 80, two plus eight equals 10. So I'm gonna add 80 plus 10. Zero plus zero is zero, and eight plus one is nine. So the sum of 52 plus 38 is 90. Again, I used the partial sums. When I'm doing that second part of the equation, I'm, a, I'm not paying attention to the first part. I'm creating an easier equation to solve. Forty-five plus twenty-nine. Using partial sums, four tens plus two tens is six tens. Remember, it's six tens, so it's six with that zero. Um, five plus nine equals fourteen. And then I'm going to add these two partial sums. Zero plus four is four, and six tens plus one ten is seven in my tens place. 45 plus 29 has a sum of 74. So 
28 plus 39. Again, for partial sums, I am adding the two plus that three in my tens place. I'm gonna add that first. Two tens plus three tens is five in my tens. But remember, it's five with a zero because it's 50 in the tens place. Eight plus nine has a sum of 17. If I add 50 plus 17, it will tell me what the sum of 28 plus 39 is. Zero plus seven is seven and five plus 110 is six in my tens place. So the sum is 67. And that's how you use partial sums.